Good morning, brothers and sisters. I am so grateful for the way that you pour your hearts into the ministry of Trinity Lutheran Church. What a great service this has been. Thank you. And the more excited I get about it, the more I think about it, the more excited I get about the campaign that's in front of us. Um, what we do matters, and what we do now matters. Um, I, a couple weeks ago, we drove my middle daughter, Clara, back to college. It's bittersweet if you've been through it, right? Launching a child, you reflect back on all of these amazing years of growth and all the programs that you've experienced and all the growth that, that the child and the family experience. And absolutely central to that has been our experience here. I can remember baptism right there. I can remember confirmation. I can remember launching off to Luther Haven and a million great opportunities for her. But I also remember my own, you know, uh, my excitement looking forward for her into this journey and, and what it kind of meant for me at that period when I launched off from college and into my early career. And as I moved from Tacoma to New York City, to Honolulu, to Boston, to Seattle, to Chelan, to Tacoma, back to Edmonds, or here to Edmonds, and, and all of the stops along the way, and how the generosity of those that preceded me paved a path for me to be here today. All along the way, there were anchors of a Lutheran church. All along the way, there were a community that sustained us as we kind of launched into this journey. So again, I kind of reflect on where my two now daughters are in kind of their college journey with all of those amazing memories of everything that got us here and excited anticipation for them in how um, we move forward. And, and part of my excitement at this period of time is now being able to be part of the legacy that sustains to ensure that that infrastructure for these faithful journeys goes on. Um, I'm gonna take a couple minutes and just talk through the gift card that's in your packet. Um, and thank you for the slides. Uh, as you heard in the video, there are kind of two pieces to this campaign. And I just wanna kind of clarify them. We've changed language a little bit. I wanna make sure it's not confusing. There are two pieces. There is the project to repair the building. And, uh, you know, so to restore the roof, there's also some necessary repairs to the siding. Uh, $1.7 million number, if you want to talk to the details and how we worked with consultants and all that stuff, love to talk with you in the narthex. I'm not going to bore you, drag you all through it right now, but you kind of remember some of that from our conversations earlier this year. The other piece of the component, the $2.5 million for mission funding. Um, so first of all, a little subtle change in language. In the past, we've referred to our general fund budget, the budget that we use to keep the lights on, to drive buses, to pay salaries, to do all of those things. We've relabeled that in an attempt to make it a little bit more true to how we're using the money. It's not just a general fund to be used, it's mission support. It is what enables us to do our work in this place. And so our running mission budget is about 1.2 million dollars a year. That's just what it costs to do ministry in Linwood. And as you heard, this is a two-year campaign with a couple of different components. One of those is the building. Maybe more importantly is the mission budget that sustains ministry going forward. If you take 1.2 million dollars a year, multiply it twice, you get 2.4. We'd like to, you know, imagine a little bit of growth, so we called it 2.5. I can talk more about the numbers again outside in the narthex, love to chat about that. That's how we kind of came up with this thing. Again, it's a two year campaign. And so the idea is that we're not gonna raise it all by December 31st of 2022. The idea is we're looking forward eagerly into 23 and 24 through this campaign. So again, I'm happy to talk about that more outside afterwards. If I can turn your attention to this card and if I can get the next slide, please. In your packet, for those that are with me in the sanctuary today, in your mailbox very soon, for those of us that are joining online, is a card that looks like this and what you're seeing on the screen today. What we're, so first of all, please don't fill it out today. 
Really, th what this is, we're, we're starting a conversation. We are engaging prayerfully over the course of the next month in a journey. Um, I'm just kind of pointing to you to how this is gonna work, right? So the very first box, what I normally give to Trinity, right? For some people you've been giving faithfully and there is a number. For some people this will be the first opportunity for joyful giving. Um, there's no judgment in that. This is, this is all about invitation. Second box is, you know, op offering the opportunity to expand our giving. So Lori and I give electronically. It's a great way to kind of ensure that ongoing money happens. The risk that was pointed out to me recently is that you set it and forget it. We, we said it several years ago and we've just kind of forgotten it. And it's an opportunity we've had, we are beginning to have kind of this prayerful dialogue about how might we increase that a little bit? Because we haven't in a couple years, honestly, right? And so, you know, we'll have some of these conversations about maybe how through some intentional lifestyle choices, we might be able to up that a little bit. So that's what the second box is. The idea then is you sum those up, that becomes kind of the co total contribution for one year multiply it by two in the box that's next to it, that becomes two years towards mission support, right? We're, we're already doing a lot of giving that gets us towards that $2.5 million number. We just wanna recognize it up front. We wanna kind of commit to it up front, which is a little change in our culture, right? Then there's a box to say, you know, how might I prayerfully give something additional to support the capital campaign? And the bottom box in a little bit more of a yellow shade is total. And, and so what, again, this is, this is the card that we will ask people to prayerfully and joyfully bring forward on October 30th. So one, one more thing I wanna point out on the very back side of the card, or the next slide, please, is a giving chart. So $4.2 million is a big number, um, but this is one way that we can achieve that goal, we, that we need people to give at a variety of different levels. We need some big gifts to make this goal. We need a lot of medium-sized gifts, and we need some small gifts. I wanna point out a couple of things. One, look, there's a column that says weekly gift of. So I mentioned you know, that Lori and I are having conversations about lifestyle choices that, that might make a difference in our giving. If I look at, you know, I mean, just I'll pick a number. If I can find a way to save $100 a week over the course of a two-year campaign, that's a $10,000 gift, right? It's little numbers add up to big numbers. And so, you know, over the course of the next month, prayerfully look at some of these ways where, you know, that, you know that whether you, are, you have the capacity to make a larger gift, you can increase your, your uh, giving that you're already giving in some other way towards this bigger number. But this is what we as a congregation are kind of praying that we can do to reach that $4.2 million goal. So, um, and again, it's two years, right? So, so we're asking people to commit to giving that will go through the end of 2024 and not right now. So please do prayerfully consider this. Um, I, I, I know one other thing we're chatting about is I, I haven't figured it out yet. I, I, I could not fill this out yet for myself, right? I'm still in that deep prayer mode with, with Lori. Um, and we're trying to figure out, you know, maybe there are some stored assets. Maybe there's something that we can do because she and I have both benefited from a long legacy of people before us that have paved the way to make it possible for this, you know, to be part of this community of faith and all of those stepping stones along the way in our faith journey. And we really feel strongly that we want to be part of sustaining that for the future. So uh, I, I think that's all I have. Again, I, I welcome conversation. Thank you all. You are generous people. You express it all the time. Um, thank you for being part of this campaign.